ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯಶಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟಿಕಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಶೃಣ್ವತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಘೃಣತಶ್ಚೇಷ್ಟಿ ಕಾಲೇನ ನಾತಿ ದೀರ್ಘೇನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಶತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಶೃಣ್ವತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಘೃಣತಶ್ಚೇಷ್ಟಿ ಕಾಲೇನ ನಾತಿ ದೀರ್ಘೇನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಶತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಶೃಣ್ವತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಘೃಣತಶ್ಚೇಷ್ಟಿ ಕಾಲೇನ ನಾತಿ ದೀರ್ಘೇನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಶತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಯರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ will have the personality of god at shri krishna manifested in their hearts within a short time cheap devotees or materialistic devotees of the lord are very much desirous to see the lord personally without meeting the requisite qualifications such third grade devotees should know well that material attachment and seeing the lord face to face cannot go together it's not such a mechanical process that the professional bhagavatam reciters can do the job on behalf of the third grade materialistic pseudo devotee the professional men are useless in this connection because they are neither self realized nor interested in the liberation of the audience they are simply interested in maintaining the material establishment of family attachment and earning some material benefit out of the profession 
Maharaj Parikshit had no more than seven days to live. <coughs> but for others, <coughs> Maharaj Parikshit personally recommended that one hear Srimad Bhagavatam regularly, Nityam, always by one's own effort and with serious devo devo devotion also. That will help one to see the Lord Shri Krishna manifested in one's heart within no time. The pseudo devotee, however, is very anxious to see the Lord according to his whims, not making any serious effort to hear Srimad Bhagavatam regularly and without detachment from material benefit. This is not the way recommended by an authority like Maharaj Parikshit, who heard and benefited by hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Ajnana Timrindasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakshur Mikam Yena Asma Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Kadati Sva Padantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sadrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadrayam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Radha Shri Vishakanitam Shri E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Adhe Vindraneshwari Vishwamu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakal Patarubhyascha Rupa Sindhubhya Yevacha Patitanam Avanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namonamaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shivasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare In this chapter, Parikshit Maharaj was asking questions. So before asking the serious questions, relevant questions, he is actually glorifying uh, the importance of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from the lips of a pure devotee. Yeah, this is a very important verse. Shunata Shraddhaya Nityam Rinatascha Svacheshtitam Kalena Nati Dirgena Bhagavan Vishitek Yudhi Before uh, Srila Prabhupada in the purport is mentioning uh, Nityam Bhagavat Sevaya and Saptaha Sevaya. Right? Uh, according to Manu Samhita, uh, please uh, remember, I will ask you a question. Mm -hmm. uh, there is hierarchy, Brahmana, uh, Kshatriya, right? Vaishya, Sudra, then uh, Panchama means uh, Chandalas, then uh, <coughs> Yavanas, you know, Mlechas, right? Like that, there is a hierarchy of profession. You know, are, these are all professional thing. You know, hierarchy is there. Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudha, and then Chandala, you know, you know and uh, Lecha, Yavana, uh, you know, Kira, Tahuna, Andra, Pulin, all that stuff is coming. And then tenth one, you know, according to hierarchy, is film actors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how many of you know? Why do we say Jaya Dhvani? Jaya Vishnupad Paramahansa Parivirat Kicha Asratas. Why do we say Ganga Mai Ki Jaya, Yamuna Mai Ki Jaya, Rupa Goswami Ki Jaya, you know, Haridas Thakur Ki Jaya? Why do we say? Huh? There is a reason, you know, uh, Pratasmarniya, you know, Pratasmarniya, uh, as soon as we wake up in the morning, we should remember these people. Uh, according to Shastra, when we remember Srila Prabhupada, or Haridas Chakur, we get a, a share of one tenth of the pious credits of Srila Prabhupada when we remember Prabhupada, when we remember Ganga. In the same way, if you remember Shah Rukh Khan, 
If you remember Sachin Tendulkar, yeah, you get one tenth of their sins because they have no pious credits, right? So modern civilization uh, is all about uh, film actors and all, right? When a when a devotee walks in, nobody gathers around. But if all this, you know, third class, low class people, Prabhupada said, uh, fattest pig is slaughtered first. Right? So, the, the persons who have a lot of bad karma, you know, either they are sent to America <laughs> or they become film actors. Because they, they are so sinful, you know. As soon as somebody goes to America, they, you know, they start eating hot dogs. Then they, they go to uh, one of my, my father was telling, we had a lawyer, you know, there was some court case. Then his sons are in. Uh, America. So when this, this fellow lawyer went to America, he and his two sons, they went to nightclub. You know, watching all the ladies dance. Can you imagine? They are sitting. So they become so sinful, you know, uh, like that. <clears throat> then, you know, who is the 11th one in hierarchy? Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, you know, Lecha, Yavana, Chandala, uh, and then film actor. Then who is the eleventh one? Huh? Huh? No, no. Eleventh <laughs> one is professional Bhagavatam reciters. Anybody who does katha and demanding money, he is the lowest human being in the world. That is the lowest profession. Right? I am not so much into doing Bhagasatta, but one devotee requested me to do Bhagasatta. I did Bhagasatta. Then he asked uh, one of her devotees, she was very close to him, Shubhangi Mataji. He asked her, ask Ramaru Prabhu how much he will take. Then I said, uh, uh, one rupee. Then later on I said, you know, somebody said he should. Oh, can I write? But uh, the devotee who translated uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat, Balde, uh, Balde Vidya Bhushan? No. Anyway, he says in uh, God, in his Prabhupada's offering, you should take 11 rupees. You know, should, if, if you give a Dakshana to your spiritual master, you should give 11 rupees, double figures. Then I said, I will take 11 rupees. But only remuneration I order from you, I uh, request from you. That uh, switch off your mobile phones and hear katha. Okay? Hear katha. So some devotees have commented, uh, one some Mataji, you know, these especially these Agarwals and all, you know, they uh, bring all these you know, professional reciters and then they have dance drama and then they have a theme, you know, this uh, uh, this this guy, you know, Lal Govind. How many of you hear his go to his katha? So, one of my big donors, even though I told them not to invite him, they invited him. And then they have a theme, you know. Every day, all the ladies, they have to wear color combination. You know? one, one particular uh, <laughs> color sadis. Kya <laughs> samband hai? Right? Anyway, Ms. Khan, even though Prabhupada was, you know, so much insisting not to hear from professional reciters, many Iskand devotees, they don't listen. They don't follow Prabhupada's instruction. And they, they hear all this Murari Bapu and Asharam Bapu and then Dongre Maharaj and then Devaki Nandan Thakur. Then now Jai Kishori now, you know, she takes 11, 11 lakh rupees for Katha. You know that? You know Jai Kishori? Huh? You hear? Uh, she takes 11 lakh rupees for katha. So Prabhupada said, it is better to be a chaprasi and clean the toilets and uh, make your living than uh, you know, subsisting on Bhagavatam you know, recitation and then holy names. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur lost his life almost because he protested against these professional uh, kirtankars. 
you know they wanted to kill him because he was strongly opposed if anybody takes money for doing kirtan uh, many times uh, i don't take any of the you know they have uh, you know this uh, you know, feeling panchatatva uh, milega sara sahasram milega that means you know they have a calculation 500 rupees milega ya you know 1000 rupees milega like that they calculate you know yeah. so i sometimes i don't care, take any murdanga player or anything i just do my own kirtan because uh, if somebody is demanding money for doing kirtan then no use listening to such kirtan if somebody is demanding uh, money for doing bhagavat katha then no use hearing from such a person you know one must hear from a uh, devotee who is free from all this uh, you know mentality of subsisting on of course some sometimes they may give something yeah, we can use it for you know giving it to the temple or some yatra or anything but you should not one one who demands money for bhagavat katha he is the lowest class of people so prabhupad is again and again in the purports uh, warning devotees not to hear from such professional reciters of shrimad right somebody who is very sincere otherwise nowadays you know uh, the many devotees of iskon on youtube you know they listen to all these lectures right, of many of this professional kathakars i hope you don't huh <laughs> so don't listen you know uh, it is uh, uh, then i will uh, you know with a warning you know of this kind i i will go into explaining this verse because prabhu is always warning us not to hear from professional researchers of shrimad bhagavatam whenever you somebody invites you ask them how much money is taking Right? If you, if you come to know that he is demanding money, don't go to such class. Right? Sit and hear Bhagavatam. I will explain to you why the importance. You know, um, so in first kind of Bhagavatam, uh, second verse, Dharma Projeta Kaitavatra Parma Dhirma Sharanam Satyam Vedyam Vastava Matra Vastu Shivadam Tapatre Unmudinam Shrimad Bhagavatam Mahamuni Krute Kimva Prayer Ishvara. सद्य हृदय अवरुद्ध थे श्रुश्रुविश तत्क्षणात् वी ऑल नो कृष्णा सेस इन भगवत गीता है ना सर्वस्य चाहम हृदय सन्निविष्ट मत्तस्मृते जानम कोच कृष्णा इज रिसाइडिंग इन एवरीबॉडीज हार्ट है ना उपदृष्ट अनुमंता च वक्ता वर्ता भोक्ता महेश्वर परमात्मे विचापि युक्त है ना See, uh, Prabhupada Krishna is saying that I am sitting in everybody's heart. I am the sakshi, you know. I am the controller. I am husband, and all. He is neutral. You know, Paramatma in our heart, you know, with four-handed palm, he is uh, sit. Once, uh, you know, Yeshua Panishad, you know, Panishad, that book, you know, is being uh, translated and is being printed. Prabhupada told uh, Jadhurani Mataji. to paint that cover picture yeah so she had a doubt that uh, swami ji that time they used to call prabhupada swami ji swami ji parmatma in the heart he is uh, lying down or he is sitting or he is standing then prabhupada told it will take thousands of years to come to know <laughs> then jadrana mandir became very disappointed then prabhupada called her yeah? he is standing you know yesterday only i went uh, day before yesterday uh, there is one veer krishna prabhu told in the class that uh, you know seventh kind of uh, seventh kind of ch- seventh chapter bhagavad gita third verse prabhupad uh, at fourth verse prabhupad explains you know vishnu stu tri nirupani you know if somebody comes to knows these three vishnus they will get liberated you know mahavishnu and garbhadaksha vishnu and then shiradaksha vishnu then uh, I went. I, I specifically went to Trivandrum. Then we, I went to Tiruvattar. Tiruvattar is Mahavishnu. You know, very beautiful. You know, he is lying this side. Tiruvattar. You know, three dwaras. You know, anybody went? 
please go huh? three vishnus uh, first is mahavishnu tiruvattar you know he, three dwaras the huge vishnu lying down very beautiful that is mahavishnu then i came to trivandrum uh, it is around around maybe 100 kilometers from trivandrum tiruvattar uh, nice drive you know and then from there we came back and then um, uh, we had we had gone to padmanabha swami temple ananta padmanabha swami ananta padmanabha swami temple he is garbhodak sai vishnu you know the lotus sprout and then then uh, day before yesterday the varkala you know maybe around 2 hours drive from trivandrum is on the on the bank of the ocean very beautiful drive you can go there and then there i saw the i was thinking even shirodak that is shirodak he is shirodak sai vishnu shirodak sai vishnu i thought i was expecting these three vishnus are lying on the you know uh, ananta sesh but there i to my surprise i found janardan swami he is known as janardan swami he is standing then i understood prabhupada was saying you know the shirodak sai vishnu standing in our heart you know with four hands so i am saying this that when you start hearing shrimad bhagavatam what when you start hearing shrimad bhagavatam especially composed by shri prabhupada krishna enters with two handed form of krishna enters and then pushes away four handed form of krishna you know so then he uh, tatkshana krishna chakra chakra explains that as soon as somebody starts hearing shrimad bhagavatam krishna celebrates festival itself it is a celebration festival time for krishna that you know then krishna very happily enters our heart then uh, in uh, first canto second chapter there are five verses right? you can buy heart uh, shunata swa kata krishna punya shravana kirtanam hridayanta stohi avadrani vidunoti suhursata right uh prabhupad uh, spoke on this verse prabhupad saying that shunavtam swa katha krishna when somebody hears about krishna one devotee was explaining krishna enters our heart in one hand flute another hand broom he enters our heart with a broom right do you remember paramatma is neutral he doesn't interfere in our activities you know he gives he is neutral he gives reaction to our karmas but krishna is not neutral he acts positively you know so krishna as soon as you start hearing about krishna krishna starts brooming our heart vidunoti kalmasha what is kalmasha kam krodh lobh moh padma sariya you know these are the kalmasha contamination in our heart so he starts cleaning our heart you know with uh, out of his causeless mercy why he is suhursata you know many times i told in bhagavatam class those here my bhagavatam class uh, i always tell what is the definition of suhrit hmm. very good yeah. uh, um, there are mitra bandhu and suhrit right bandhu means uh, as long as you have money they are with you right the moment you lose your money they disappear right one gentleman one businessman who lost his business and then there are many creditors money many people owed with money so he was sitting in in front of his factory and he commented recently i have committed mystic powers how because i can see everybody but no get nobody can see me you know why because uh, they are afraid if you wish him they will he will ask for a loan uh, you know mitra but mitra means you know a friend a friend of yours uh, suppose a person goes to the jail he can come up to the up to the gate of arthur road jail but he cannot go inside the you know and share his problems that is mitra a friend a friend in need is friend indeed but suhrut means prabhupad defined that a friend of yours who is thinking of your welfare 24 hours in a day 
that is suhrit suhrit satam you know uh, he is a friend of your devotees suhrit satam uh, <clears throat> prabhupad writes the greatest contamination in you know in the purport of that verse prabhupad writes that uh, even even for great personalities two things very difficult to give up one is women another is wealth women and wealth so people become victims even big great devotees become victims of these two things women and wealth but if you keep on hearing shrimad bhagavatam krishna personally cleanses your heart then you will become free from uh, this contamination especially wealth and uh, women uh, uh, this uh, prabhupad on this verse prabhupad uh, in the lecture he says that uh, when people uh, they don't want to become pious but when devotees when they go to the railway stations and streets chant hari krishna maha mantra loudly when the people are passing by the hari krishna names of the holy name the name the holy names are falling into their ears and the prabha said we are forcing them to become pious right forcing them to become pious that is why prabhupa said A, a neophyte devotee who is sitting in his room and chanting Hare Krishna is millions of times better than a yogi who is silently meditating in the Himalaya. You know why? When he chants Hare Krishna, million the millions of living entities who are staying in his room in the crevices of in the door or in the walls, so many living entities are living. When the devotee chants Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram all those living entities the devotee is delivering that is why you should chant loudly Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 there is one devotee uh, sanyasi sukadev swami maharaj he takes care of nellur temple very humble devotee uh, I, of course i am not like him uh, but uh, i have seen sometimes i traveled with him in andhra we used to go so that time he would take a kartal and uh, go to the uh, he was a very humble person he nowadays we go by flight but he used to always travel by trains then he would take a kartal and then he would chant you know throughout the train he would go and chant hari krishna and then you know that holy names falling into the ears of all the passengers they are getting delivered so we are forcing them you know nastapraya shabdreshu नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी प्रभुपाद राइट्स व्हेन यू कीप ऑन हियरिंग श्रीमद् भागवतम ऑलमोस्ट 90% ऑफ द कंटामिनेशन इज नलिफाइड 90% स्टिल इट इज लेफ्ट आउट दैट इज व्हाई प्रभुपाद सेस समटाइम्स व्हेन डिवोटीज इवन द एडवांस डिवोटीज आल्सो समटाइम्स व्हेन दे कमिट मिस्टेक्स और व्हेन दे डू सम other nice not so nice things we should not criticize them because uh, uh, till the time uh, up to even bhava stage this contamination is going to be there somebody may commit mistake so it doesn't mean that you know uh, you can criticize that person you know he may be very advanced but because of past bad habits or little contamination is left in the heart he may do but it doesn't matter this it's not an obstacle for advancing in devotion service that's why we should not quickly jump into conclusion in branding and do prachara on the social media <laughs> you know very bad then tada rajas tamo bhava kamalobadayashe chetayate anaviddham sthitam satve prasidati all of you all of us want to be happy right so in order to become happy uh, people are trying to become rich famous earn money and you know they want to go this place that place but they still they are not happy because prabhupad says if you want to be happy you know all these riches and all they don't make you happy you have to come to sat praguna as long as we are under the influence of rajogun and tamogun as long as rajogun and tamogun you know Uh, make us you know affected by kama and loba right 
Kamalobada Yeshche. Prabhupada writes, somebody asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, what it is to be me, to be on the highest level of consciousness? Prabhupada said, to become fearless. <clears throat> to become fearless. Then Prabhupada said, Prabhupada writes in 4th canto 24th chapter, Eta Drupam Anudhyayam. Atma, Atma Shuddhi Abhipsita. Bhakti Yoga Abhayada. Sodharma Parinishtaya. In that verse, Prabhupada writes in the purport that in order to practice Krishna consciousness, one has to one must be joyful. In order to be joyful, one must become fearless. That is the equation. Prabhupada said, if a devotee of Krishna he is morose, looking sad, he is not a devotee, he is a rascal. Right? A devotee should always be happy and joyful. Right? Tada rajas tamo bhava, kamalobada, yashchaye, cheta yete, anaviddham, sitam sattve, prasidati. Prasidati means always happy. You are understanding? So, unless we become free from rajogun and tamogun, unless we become free from kama and loba, we cannot be happy. Then, evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogataha bhagavad tattva vijnana mukta sangha samachar mukta sangha se jaya dere mukta sangha se jaya being situated in a joyful condition one must practice devotional service evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogataha bhagavad tattva vijnana say, uh, I will say three things, you repeat. Aham shariram asmi. Aham shariram asmi. It is ajnana. Right? This is ajnana. Aham brahma asmi. This is jnana. Right? Then, aham krishna daso asmi. This is vijnana. Right? I am an eternal servant of Krishna. Once one Mayavadi Sanyasi met a boy in South India. He asked him, what are you doing? I am sitting here. Okay, I will tell you one mantra. You keep chanting that mantra. He said, what? Soham, Soham, Soham. He started chanting. Soham, Soham, Soham. After some time, one Sri Vaishnava, he met him. What are you doing? He said, I am chanting Soham, Soham. He said, okay, you do one thing. You add da. Okay. Then, da soham, da soham. Right? Da soham, da soham. After some time, again, Mayavadi Sanyasi met him. Hey, what are you doing? I am chanting da soham, da soham. You add one more sa in front of that. What is that? No? <laughs> Sada soham, sada soham. He was chanting. <laughs> Again, after some time, one Sri Vaishnav again met him. Say, hey, what are you doing now? You know, chanting Sada Soham, Sada Soham. You know, you add one more Da. What is that? Da Sada Soham. <laughs> right? Mat Janma Falavidam, Madukait Mare. Mat Prathani, Madanugraha Yeshaeva. Mat Brutya Brutya Paricharika Brutya. Brutyasya Itimam. Smaralokanatha. Right? Seven times. Servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. <laughs> that is Vijnana. You know, Aham. What is Vijnana? Aham. Aham Krishna Dasos. Right? What are the three statements? Who can repeat? Yeah. Hmm. Right? Yasya Sarve Samarambha Kama Sankalpita Vajana Jnana Agni Dagdha Karmana Tamahu Panditam Budaha In the fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita One who is free from Yasya Sarve Samarambha One who performs these activities Kama Sankalpita Vajana Vajita One who is free from Sankalpa Kama Sankalpa you know, desire for sense gratification. Jnanagni Dagda Karmani. Somebody, Jnanagni. Prabhupada writes that what is that Jnanagni? Very beautifully he says, 
this knowledge that I am an eternal servant of Krishna, this is called Jnanagni. That Jnanagni destroys all the reactions of karma. Jnanagni Dagda Karma. Samahu Panditam Buddha. Right? Uh, <clears throat> Prabhupada said, there is so much knowledge, you know, Vedas and Puranas, Upanishads, and so much confusion. Right? And Prabhupada said, if you know these three sentences, you know everything. What are they? Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bolo. Number two, I am his eternal servant. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna, I can serve him. If you know these three sentences, you know everything. That's it. You all have all knowledge, Vedic knowledge, everything. Right? Who can repeat, ladies? You can repeat three sentences. Repeat. What is the first sentence? By chanting Hare Krishna. Very good. So, then uh, Vidyate Hrade Grandi, Chidyante Sarasamshaya, Chiyante Chasya Karmani, Krishna Evatma Nishwara. This uh, knowledge, uh, this, uh, this realization, Mukta Sangha Sama, uh, Mukta Sangha Sijayate. You know, Mukta Sangha Sijayate means becoming free from attachment. Becoming free from three modes of effect of three modes of nature. We are under the influence of three modes of nature all the time. Suffering in this material body. Right? So, all this Vidyate Hride Grandi, there is a knot in the heart. You know? There is a very minute difference between false ego and the soul. Minute. Right? Krishna, Buddha asked Krishna. Who suffers, body or the soul? Right? Krishna replied, false ego is suffering. Very, my, very subtle. It's almost like soul, false ego. Okay? I am this body. Uh, so, vidyate hridaya grandi. Right? So, this... The, when you when you uh, are situated in bhakti yoga you get a sword of knowledge with that sword of knowledge you cut the knot you know there is a knot between the soul and the false ego that it right not chinese you know i have while dressing the deities i have a problem you know all chinese scissors you know tick se cut <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm you get only Chinese mal, you know. <laughs> Chinese mal <ho> <laughs> right? It's a very sharp sword. You, know, you cut it. Chidyante Sarvasam Shaya. All this the doubts. You know, the greatest doubt in our life is whether Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God or not. Right? What is moha? We are all, you know, subjected to moha. Right? What is moha? <clears throat> hmm? See, everybody, moha means asakti. Asakti means attachment. Moha means not asakti. Attachment. Moha means, huh? yeah. what is that illusion? Shankaracharya, in his Bhagavad Gita commentary, he defines that to consider satyako asatya manna, Asatya ko satya manna. This is called moha. You know, we consider soul doesn't exist. Study which is satya. And we consider body which is not uh, real. We consider the body is real. No? And then we think that Sai Baba is God. Many people, they know, they think. But Krishna is ordinary person. 
right? This is the greatest moha in this world, right? So all these doubts, you know, whether Krishna is there or not, whether this Bhagavad Gita is bona fide or not, uh, whether Bhagavatam is bona fide or not, Prabhupada is bona fide or not, so many samshayas, right? Chidyante samshayasya. Shiyante chasya karmani. Right? Uh, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, third chapter, that uh, Niyatam Guru Karmatvam Sangajaya Karmana Sharira Yatra Pichate Na Prasiddhiyata Karmana. You must do your one of uh, uh, occupational duty, you know, prescribed duty. If you don't work, you cannot even maintain your body. Right? What is karma? What is the definition of karma? Huh? You are telling, you know, translation. I didn't ask for translation. I asked for definition. Aksharam Brahma Paramam. Right? <coughs> Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Bhuta Bhavod Bhavakaro, Visargaha Karma Samjita. Acharam Brahma Parma, Subhavo Adhyatma Vichati, Bhuta Bhavod Bhavakaro, Visargaha Karma Samjita. If you read 8th chapter Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, Arjuna asked a few questions. What is Brahman? What is Swabhava? What is Adhyatma? What is Adhyajna? What is Karma? What is Karma? Krishna replied, Please go and read third, you know, fifth. Eighth chapter, third verse. Aksharam Brahma Paramam, Swabhava Adhyatma Vichati. Bhuta Bhavud Bhavakaro, Visargaha Karma Samjita. The activity which produces your next body is called karma, according to Krishna. That means when you perform activity, it will produce your next body. According to Padma Purana, if you perform one activity, you have to suffer and enjoy or enjoy for 100 lifetimes. Thank you. Just imagine how many karmas we are doing in a day. You know, so how many lifetimes, how many bodies we will get. How much suffering and enjoyment we will get. Right? The best way is to stop doing karma, right? If you, want, if you don't want body, huh? you have to stop doing karma. But if you do karma, you will get a next body. How to solve the problem? Bolo Krishnanan Prabhu. Krishna Premanan. Bolo, what is the solution given by Krishna? Third chapter, ninth verse. Yajnatat karmano anyatra lokoyam karma vajjana. Tadartam karma kaunte mukta sangha. Perform your karma, you know, for the purpose of pleasing Vishnu. <coughs> that is why, what is the definition of bhakti? Anya vilashita sunyam, jnana karmadi, anavritam, anukulena krishna anusilanam, bhakti ruttama. So, um, Prabhupada comments, Krish, uh, Rupa Goswami said, jnana karmadi, anavritam. He didn't say, Zero karma, zero jnana. Right? Because you cannot subsist without doing karma. But if you work you know, for the purpose of pleasing Krishna, then that karma becomes nullified. Then there is no reaction. Then, like uh, Maharaj Chitraketu says, that my dear Lord, karma mu bijaha. Right? It means uh, doing any activity connected to Krishna. He is like, you know, uh, a burnt seed doesn't produce a result, you know, doesn't produce a uh, tree. If you, if the seed is burnt, it will not, if you plant it, it will not, like that, any activity that is connected to Krishna is like a burnt seed. It doesn't produce, huh? Yeah. So, if you hear about, so all these five verses, what is the, Underlining formula? Huh? No. 
What is the underlying formula? Here, Shrinathanswa Shraddha. Hear about Krishna. Krishna, hearing about Krishna is so powerful that uh, naturally you reach the stage. In the, in the beginning, you are full of contamination. Then you are becoming free from contamination. Then almost 90% you are free. Then Bhakti Yoga, you know, uh, our prayeshu means something is left. Every day you must read. Every day you must hear. Um, in, uh, there is one verse. How many of you know? Satam prasangam mama virya samvidu bhavanti hrut karna rasayanaka sanchoshana da apavadgavatmani shraddha ratir bhakti anukramishyati. This is a verse from 3rd canto, 25th chapter. And the purport to this verse, Krishna Chakra Thakur writes that when you are hungry, you know, a little bit, one puri and you know, little sabji, one spoon sabji will not suffice. Right? Right? That's why they say um, after Nijala Ekadasi day, they don't want to sing. Uh, uh, you know, Nijala Ekadasi, they don't want to sing Tulsi Arati. You know why? Because Yani Kani Chapa Pani. Pani. Pani Yada Yada Kul. Yani Kani. <laughs> like that. So, this uh, very. So, Vishnu Chakra says that when you are feeling hungry, you need a big feast. Right? You need a big feast. Then it should be sumptuous and uh, tasty, delicious. Right? So, it depends on the quality of the food and quantity of the food. In the same way, our hearing, you, know, you should, you, in order to become free from these contaminations, you must hear a lot of Bhagavad Gita. Lot. And then, it must be from a pure devotee. Right? Uh, many times, uh, I advise in the class, Palatin class, you know, when you get free time, you know, you have satsangs and all, Prabhupada said, you hear Bhagavatam Katha at this time, during morning time. But otherwise, take a book of Prabhupada and read. Because when, when we speakers, you know, we miss out so many things that are written by Prabhupada. So many nice, wonderful things. So when you keep on reading Bhagavatam, one day Krishna will stand in front. You don't have to do anything. Prabhupada said, um, how many of you, you know, want to chant nicely? Right? You don't have to attend any Japa seminars. Simply read Bhagavatam. Prabhupada writes in uh, Chaitanya Chaitamrita, 7 chapter. Right? If you want chant, if you want to chant nicely, get addicted to reading Bhagavatam. Scrutinizing. And then, uh, in Brahad Bhagavatam, the commentary it is written that you know, while chanting Hare Krishna, we tend to commit offenses. If you take care of you know reading Bhagavatam and uh, if you don't keep uh, Bhagavatam touching your feet and all, otherwise there is no other offense you can commit while reading Bhagavatam. Right? Why we cannot chant properly? Because we don't have complete faith. But if you chant, if you read Bhagavatam, your chanting depends on how much you have read one day before. Right? One day before. So, uh, <clears throat> take a vow. That, uh, I know all of you grasp this. You know, take a vow. You know, Prabhupada writes in Satatam Kirtayanto Maam Etan Tashinudavrata Namasyan Teshcha Maam Bhakti. So, in that verse, Prabhupada writes, when somebody takes a vow on Ekadasi that I will not eat anything, you don't feel hungry. Right? When you take a vow that I will read minimum 5 pages, 10 pages, 20 pages, you can avoid so much nonsense in your life. 
you have a vow that yeah, I have to read it. Then there is so much, you are so busy. And I know, then when you come back from office, you don't want to surf on the net, on social media, because on the back of your mind, that problem, you know, that thing is there, oh, I have to read 10 pages. Let me finish my 10 pages. Take a vow. And then read Bhagavatam. I have, in my own personal life, I can uh, share my experience, you know, reading Bhagavatam. It created revolution in my life. Because every day I read Bhagavatam. Every, not a day passes without reading Shri Prabhupada. Shil Prabhupada, not a day, not even one day passed in two, since 2016. Not a single day has passed without reading Bhagavad Or Chaitanya Chaitanya, Bhagavad Gita, Bhakti Rasamrita, what Prabhupada books. Take a vow that I will not sleep unless I read some pages of Prabhupada books. Just come and tell me, Prabhupada, yeah, advice they are. <laughs> you know, it will create, the, you know. One thing I experienced uh, since uh, 1991, you know, I had this struggling, you know, with sleep while chanting. Sometimes the best sleep you get is while chanting. <laughs> you know, and then you get. Uh, so much, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, uh, sitting there and fall asleep and it comes like flood, you know. The eyes don't remain open only. And then, sometimes I fall asleep and then dreaming also. <laughs> I have experienced, uh, after four years of intense reading of Bhagavatam, suddenly I realized there and nowadays I don't fall asleep. I just remain awake. When you remain awake and chant, close your eyes and chant, then real chanting. Because you have to hear, na? Hearing not with these ears. You, know, you have Mano Nayana. Mind, your mind has got ears. Your mind has got eyes. Suppose you, close, suppose you want to see Radharas Vihari now. What do you have to do? Close your eyes. Right? Recollect. If you have to recollect some verses, you have to close your eyes and hear. You know, there I am. That is called Antarmukha Samaradhya Bahirmukha Durlava. If your senses remain externally oriented, it's impossible. Durlava. Durlava. It's impossible to get Krishna. You have to go inside. Mind is very important element. So you have to go inside and hear, you know, the holy name. For that, you have to close your eyes. You know, half, that's why Krishna says, half close your eyes. Right? Half close your eyes. Like that. So everything, you know, Bhagavatam is like a kalpa vriksha. You know? Just read Bhagavatam. Your life will become perfect. A guarantee. <laughs> this much realization I have got. You know? This much realization I have got. Simply read Bhagavatam. Every day, you know, read Krishna book. Night time. Every day you read Krishna book. Prabhupada said, you know. Many times I keep saying this. Till what time? Okay, time. Every time I keep saying this, uh, early in the morning, you remember Putana Vada pastime. Hmm? Afternoon, in the afternoon, you remember Damodar Leela. And in the night, you remember Partha Sardi Leela, Krishna driving the chariot of Arjuna and teaching Bhagavad Gita. Vilumangal Thakur said, that by Vidivashar, by the will of providence or something, if Yamadutas come to take you, 
under such circumstances, Krishna will come on his chariot. He'll make you sit on his chariot and take you back home, back to God. So, in order to remember the past time, you have to read again and again. Uh, all of you, Grahasthas, you know, for you, your life, Hakka Pran, Bacham Me Basta. Right? You, you, your life, your pranas exist in your bacha. You know? That's why our wife, our children, you know. So, you must understand the futility of, you know, thinking about, you know, what is the difference between Panwala and others? You know? Panwala pushta chuna lagao saab. <laughs> Your family members, they don't ask. <laughs> Without asking, they chuna lagayega. <laughs> Right? Krishna says in 9 chapter Bhagavad Gita, Aham Kratur Aham Edhya, Sada Aham Aham Aushadam, Mantra Oham Aham Evadhyam, Aham Aham Agni Raham Hutam, Pita Aham Asya Jagato, Mata Data, Pita Maha, Right? Pavitra Maha Omkara, Ruksama Yajurevacha. Krishna is saying, I am your father. I am your Gatirbhatta, Prabhu Sakshi, Nivasham, Sharanam, Sri. You know, whomever you like in this world, your, you like your mother, you, know, you like your father, you like your friend, you like your husband, you like you know, friend. Krishna is saying, I am all that. When Shivashna nine people we like, Krishna is saying, we are, I am all this. You know? I am all this. <laughs> so, Simply attached to wife and children. I mean, think about, about all, all the time. I will not say don't think about them at all. Because naturally we'll think. But uh, don't uh, spend all your time thinking about them and your children. You know, Krishna is the most dear friend of you. Sometimes Prabhupada said, in Krishna book, you know, Prabhupada writes, 21st chapter. You know, around 8.30, 9 o'clock, you know, you think. How Krishna is going to the forest? You know, how many of you know that verse? Baraha pidam natavaravapuhu karnayo karnikaram. Bolo? Vibradva asha kanukatapisham vajayanti chamalam randran venu radar sudam apurayan gopa vrinde vrindaranyam sopadaram. Most beautiful verse of entire Bhagavatam. Right? Just visualize. You, know, you are thinking, you know, on karke pusa hai, you know, the other day I was traveling and then we took very nice prasad in uh, uh, Melkote, our Iskhan temple. Then his wife called, Kya kar rahe? Uh, Abhi, I ate uh, uh, chapati, uh, paratha, and then uh, uh, palak rice. Uh, uh, and then rasam rice and uh, you know vada, uh, you know, raval laddu, uh, papad, uh, all that he was saying. <laughs> then he was asking, what did you take for breakfast? I said, Ab around two o'clock. I said, abhi tak hajam ho gaya hoga. <laughs> Material attachment all the time, you know, thinking. <laughs> huh? This material attachment we have to, you know, set aside for for some time at least. Right? That's why Prabhupada said, they say, Are you are all mad after Krishna. Prabhupada said, you are all mad after women. Better to be mad after Krishna. Right? Once one doctor, you know, he was appointed, newly appointed. He was taken mental hospital. He was taking on the roads, uh, rounds. And they, they, the doctor was introducing you know, this patient, this patient. And then they, one patient was shouting, Kavita, Kavita, Kavita. I said, what happened? He had a girlfriend, Kavita. He, she broke up with him. And then became mad. 
<laughs> you know uh, oh. <laughs> then after some few uh, few beds he met one more guy <laughs> then he was he was also shouting kavita kavita so <laughs> who is that guy he is the husband of that kavita <laughs> you know <laughs> jo शादी का लड्डू जो खाया है वो भी पछता है नहीं खाया वो भी राइट एनी वे सो दिस इज मेटेरियल लाइफ यू नो व्हाट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट लव स्टोरी यू नो देर इज वन गाय हु वॉज अप्रोचिंग ए गर्ल देन शी रिजेक्टेड हिम he lived happily ever after <laughs> that is the shortest love story <laughs> you know huh? <laughs> you know uh, prabhu told gargamuni prabhu don't get married so when prabhu came to america Uh, from america to india he got <coughs> he was missing proper so he came he got married and then proper you know he was running this spiritual sky business he was very busy so radha goin mara says in america every half an hour one hour he has, you have to call your wife i love you baby <laughs> so he was not able to do that <coughs> when prabhupad went uh, in the san francisco he went to one nude ranch you know nude camp there he brought two devotees from there i don't want to tell the name if you want you can ask me later those two guys so his wife went with him went to, he she went to stay with them they were living near the house of uh, near the temple gargamuni prabhu went with a knife to kill both of them because he was very attached to his wife and all that so she would have liked that but he, when he went uh, they were actually very receptive to krishna consciousness and then he preached for hours together to both of them then prabhu he said keep my wife <laughs> keep my wife <laughs> so later on when prabhu pad came he asked uh, one one indian gentleman came you know when indian gentleman came he was telling about how he is having a troubled marriage and all that prabhat was sympathizing with him the later on prabhat asked gargamuni uh, are you married prabhat yes prabhat i am married but my my wife ran away prabhat got up and embraced him you are very fortunate <laughs> otherwise you know they cut their uh, uh, wrist and you know then they uh, sing you know mukesh ka sad songs <laughs> anyway <laughs> don't spend uh, all your time on uh, thinking about material affairs wife and children our husband and children all the time you know krishna is your real father krishna is your real mother krishna is your real grandfather krishna is your real son krishna is your real husband krishna is your real friend you know so th- instead of thinking about him why we should think about temporary relations and temporary people right right so think about krishna so prabha writes <clears throat> around uh, every day morning if you think that how krishna is walking on the streets of vrindavan vraj you know decorated very nicely varha peedam natavarava pukarne kanika right he is wearing a you know, peacock feather and then orange turban you know orange turban and then uh, pitambar vastra you know and then when the sun rays are falling on the pitambar vastra it is producing a hue golden hue and it's looking very very beautiful 
and then lord shiva is natasekara but krishna is natavara vapu the best of the dancers you know why why krishna is known as best of the dancers you know when krishna danced on the hoods of kaliya you know uh, usually the platform is fixed right stage is fixed but for krishna the stage is in a moving stage and then that fellow is inimical also right all the denizens you know actually there is a commentary that why krishna danced on the why krishna was bound by the kaliya for so long you know why because he is waiting you know because that time only puravaraga you know just gopis have started developing feelings for krishna puravaraga bolte so he wanted to impress you know bhagwan ko bhi you know <laughs> other you know we, in our young age we used to think you know if i get a uh, royal enfield bike i can impress girls right that's why all these young boys you know they get you know royal enfield bike and dad 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 you know once i'll tell you one more joke he had a one he had a royal enfield 250 cc bike he got then he got a girlfriend yeah one girl is impressed so both of them used to go on a ride yeah so when she was sitting beside back side and then she was speaking to him you know in sweet voice he was unable to hear that's why he sold off royal enfield bike and then he purchased a scooty so that itna aawaz nahi karta hai then after some time they got married and then after few years of marriage again he purchased royal enfield 350 cc aur aap so he wanted to impress radharani and gopis that's why he was waiting so when krishna was dancing all the demigods and all they started playing mrudanga kirtan they were showering flowers very beautiful that's why he is varha peedam natavara vapu and then karnayo karnikara karnaya only on one year he put karnikara flower you know why you know why because krishna is the first stylist you know in the world so nowadays you know people they have you know one earring only or they have a piercing here right <laughs> like that so they have you know sometimes you know they have piercing in all the ears you know <laughs> there is a joke you know these girls you know they have so many piercings in the ears itne holes hai lekin kisi baap ka nahi sunti hai <laughs> you know, so many, so Krishna, so uh, Krishna Chakravarti comments that Krishna first he put one Kanigara flower in his ear, in one ear, and then all the boys they followed him. They are imitating Krishna. So there are so many millions of covert boys. They all plucked, you know, Kanigara flowers and putting in their ear. When Krishna wanted to put another flower in the ear, all the flowers are finished itself. <laughs> you know varaha peedam natavara vapu karneyo karnikaram vibrad vashah kanaka kapisham vaijayanti chimalam i already told you, when the sun rays are falling on the uh, yellowish cloth pitamara vastra of krishna you know it is uh, shining like golden hue it is producing that it's looking very beautiful and then he is wearing vaijayanti mala vaijayanti mala means five types of five colored fragrant flowers krishna is always wearing glorious by walking bare feet on the streets of vrindavan and then the gopis they were thinking like this krishna you know 
how Krishna is growing. Prabhupada says, if you think like that, that is Samadhi. Right? Instead of thinking, you know, breakfast mein kya khaya, lunch mein kya khaya. Right? You should think, you know, how Krishna is walking on the streets of Vrindavan. Every day morning, this pastime takes place. That you know, Yashoda Mata, you know, thoda thoda, you know, khilayati hai. Thoda khao, thoda khao. Then he instru she instructs Balram, don't let him go inside the forest. Then, you know, the Prabhupada, the boys, you know, after some time, they don't like their mothers to be always on their, on their head. Because they, they want to be with their friends. Ma, don't come. Go now. You know, enough. I, I'll take care. Go now. Go now. You know, he sends up you know, Mother Yashoda. Meanwhile, one, one gopi, she got married. And then entered Braj. You know, then the sas, you know, mother-in-law told that uh, during this time, don't go outside. A Kala Nag will bite you, then you will lose your consciousness. Kala Nag. So she didn't listen to her mother in law, and then she and she came, and then there, there are so many bushes and all. She was hiding in, behind a bush, you know, near her house. And then she's seeing Krishna going, you know, then Krishna, oh, new girl. Right? And then he twisted the ears of a cough. You know, he twisted the ears of a cough and then she went there. That cough went there to that girl. You know, with an excuse to fetch the cough. So that girl, she was so enchanted by Krishna's beauty. She was standing like a you know, painting in the picture. You know, a picture like a picture in the painting. And then she was stunned. Right? And then Krishna went and you know, with an excuse to fetch that cough. Krishna took his flute and then tapped on her chin. Move and karo ne to machar gujjayenge. She was stuck like that. So he, Krishna is known as Chitchor. You know, Chitchor. He stole the heart of that gopi. Then immediately, so Krishna went, you know, with all his paraphernalia, singing, Pravishad Gita Kirti, singing very nice songs, playing flute. And all the devotees are very happy. You know, very happy. And then, mother in was wondering, where is my Bahu? Where is my Bahu? She is not to be seen. And uh, she, I warned her not to go at this time. I think Kala Nag bit, him, bit her. So she went, uh, you know, she was standing like that. Somehow or other, she dragged her. So she told her, Please go and bring water from the well. So, Jetanika Bacha ko leke, she went to the well. So, instead of bringing water, you know, she put the baby in the bucket and then she put it in the well. Because she is still not in the external consciousness and she was completely Krishna conscious. Then everybody started, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, and then she, somehow she, they saved that baby. So, Madhurila told, please, you know, churn the butter. So, instead of putting the butter, she put uh, uh, this uh, mustard seeds and then started churning. So, like that, you know, they, she became enchanted. So, Prabhupada says, this is how we should remember Krishna. And it's not very difficult also. Right? Anyway, there are so many things to tell. You know, as soon as you rise early in the morning, remember Gajendra Moksha, you know, past time. You know, Krishna himself said that anybody who remembers this past time, at the end of the life, Tesham, uh, Tesham Aham Samudrata, Mrutya Samsara, Sagarat, Bhavami Nachirat Partha, Maya Veshita Chitrasam. I personally come and take that person. If you remember every day, Gajendra Moksha past time, early in the morning. As soon as you wake up, that's what you should do. You know, as soon as you wake up, you just offer a wish to Radha Rasmira and Prabhupada and sit and remember this past time of hmm, uh, Gajendra Moksha. Krishna says, Sukhita Goswami says, all auspiciousness will come. 
you know, to that person. Otherwise, you know, uh, while brushing the teeth and all, you can remember these prayers and Gajendra Moksha. You know, otherwise, you think about uh, all bad things that have happened or nasty things have happened or you think ill of others. So that if your mind is engaged in Gajendra Moksha prayers or thinking about Gajendra Moksha pastimes, you know, Dusvapna Falat, you know, the effect of Dusvapna, bad dream will go away. Then Sukhade Goswami says, it will bring auspiciousness. It will bring auspiciousness to your life. And then Krishna says, anybody who remembers Gajendra Moksha pastimes, early in the morning, I will come personally. You know, that uh, painting is there, no? In 12th chapter Bhagavad Gita, Krishna comes and the Garuda picks up. Right? Person who is drowning in the ocean of neglect. And put him on his back of his Garuda and take him back to God. He will come personally. Like that, you know, so much, uh, right? Yat Kirta Yat Yat Kirta Yat Putana Moksham Krishnasya uh, Arbaka Adbutam Shrinvata Shraddhaya Shraddhaya Shrinvataya Pumsho uh, Martyo Govinde Labate Rati Anybody who remembers this Putana Uddhar pastimes and all other wonderful childhood pastimes of Krishna, such a person with Shraddha, if he hears, such a person will attain love for Govinda. Right? Govinde Labate Rati. Rati means frame. Like that, you know, we should, uh, for that, you know, you have to read a lot. Read a lot, then you can easily remember pastimes of the Lord. Right? So many pastimes are there. Right? So you hear these pastimes, then think of Krishna. Marganti Yatte Mukhapadmani Indras Chando Suparna <clears throat> Rishayo Vivikta Yatyaga Marshoda Shalila Yukta Padam Padam Tirtha Pada Prapanna uh, In that verse, uh, Prabhupada writes, the greatest thing in this material world is Bhagavad Gita. You know, some devotees, they take shelter of Ganga, Yamuna and all, where the water is coming from Krishna. Uh, so, by taking shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, by taking taking bath in Ganga every day or Yamuna every day, one becomes free from Yadhyaga Marshoda, you know, Sharidvara hai. Uh, <clears throat> they become free from all sinful reactions. And they take shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. And some people, they take shelter of nest of the mouth, uh, face of Krishna. Then from the face of Krishna, Bhagavad Gita has come. So some people, they take shelter of Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. You know? So Prabhupada says, the greatest thing in this universe is Bhagavad Gita. You can read third canto, fifth chapter. So like this, uh, there are glories of hearing Bhagavatam. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Uh, anybody has any questions? Can you bring a, a glass of uh, <clears throat> Sweet rice. <laughs> See, hearing means carrying out the order. Right? As soon as I told you, you know, uh, please bring a glass of sweet rice. You should run. Right? Scrutinizingly means. Uh, sometimes uh, I ask, you know, because I can't hear what is uh, announcements in the altar when the after the gate is closed. I ask somebody who is giving class. Ah, somebody, some dance. You know, <laughs> you know they don't, they don't, 
they heard but they didn't hear question of question you know we hear but we don't hear actually hearing means following the orders another thing is hearing means repeating so scrutinizing means i have my own experience i will tell so many years prabha said you know bhakti rasam sindhu is the you know handbook of devout so many years i have been reading all of a sudden when i was reading reading and hearing is same prabha you know prabha writes that day, during lamp offering if somebody looks at the face of the lotus face of the lord one becomes free from millions of brahmatya pa how many of you look at the lotus face of the lord during aarti <clears throat> you must look you know not that here and there you look then i said oh let me look at the face of the lord okay. all these years here and there you know we stand in the back and all that stuff but of course now i do aarti but otherwise uh, when when it is written like that you must look at the lotus face of the lord you must you must carry out the order you will get the benefit like that you know there are so many instructions in bhagavatam bhakti rasam you must carry out the instructions otherwise it's gone right yeah that is very important and uh, there are two advantages of hearing bhagavatam one is Uh, if you simply hear krishna katha your ears are pleased but if you understand the tatva behind krishna's pastimes your mind is also satisfied mind also becomes satisfied but if you simply hear only your body is satisfied your ears are satisfied so for every pastime there is a tatva behind that you must understand huh just like you know uh, this uh, shakata banjan leela is there what is the tatva behind shakata banjan what is the shakata banjan leela uh, when krishna was sleeping under the cart mother yashoda and all they neglected krishna when krishna was crying and then he kicked his lotus feet and then just as soon as he touched the lotus this lotus feet with the cart it fell apart there is one uh, acharya shiva uh, shiva shama palacharya uh, he comments tatva behind this what we can apply is our body is also compared to shakata bandi you know vehicle and this vehicle is carrying us everywhere and suffering and enjoying this vehicle has to fall how just like when the krishna touched his lotus feet with the cart the cart fell if you bring krishna's lotus feet in your heart if you remember krishna's lotus feet in your heart this body will fall that is the tatva behind so samrujjamane hrudaya vadaye prabha writes there is one verse you know श्रद्धया श्रुतया भक्तिया समृज्यम हृदय वधाए ज्ञान वैराग्य बलन धीरा so that is the tatva. what is the tatva behind that putana's past time now there is no time i can tell you some other time so like that every i can explain tatva behind all the past times you know brahma vimohan lila every past time all that so you understand then your mind is also satisfied okay. Abdullah or Taylor, he died now. He said, "Radha Rasvari's measurements have changed because of feeding so much nice prasad." 
<laughs> you become fat. Um, I can share my experience, but uh, it is very useful. That's why I'm sharing. Usually we don't share, but uh, this is a very significant dream I got, and Radha Raspberry personally instructed me that uh, there is one verse: "Es shauch nishruta sharad pravarod kena tirtani murdhani adikrita shivo shivo ashuva abud." Jatur Manaha Samala Saila Nishrishta Vajram Yaya Chirad Bhagavato Charanar Vedra. And you know, third canto, 28th chapter, Lord Kapila is describing how one should meditate on Krishna. So second verse is you know, one should meditate on the lotus feet of Krishna, whose lotus feet, from whose lotus feet Ganga has come. And then Shiva, even though he is already auspicious, becomes more auspicious by keeping water of Ganga on his head. The, the, the contamination, sinful activity reactions that are stored in the heart, they are compared to a mountain. And meditating on the lotus feet of Krishna is compared to Vajra. Vajra is used for smashing mountains by Indra. In the same way, when you meditate on Krishna's lotus feet, the, the Mountain of sinful reactions get smashed by the power of meditation. I like this verse and I have read it and then I was explaining everywhere. One day, Radharasvir came in my dream. That time, I used to have a camera years back. I used to click pictures of lotus feet of Krishna and then forward everywhere in my groups. So, Krishna showed one picture, Radharasvir showed one picture of lotus feet of the picture that I clicked, then he told me, meditate on this lotus feet. <laughs> you know, then, then I understood. Because Prabhupada wrote, if you read that chapter, 3rd Canto 28th chapter, you don't have to imagine, you just think about the deity of the Lord. <clears throat> you know, these yogis and all, they meditate, they imagine the form of the Lord. But you simply, you know, think of the Lord. I understood that there is no difference between Krishna and the deity. So that was a very significant instruction. You can also do, you know, take a picture of Radha Raspihari and, uh, you know, enjoy the beauty of Radha Raspihari. You know, even when you come to the temple, uh, Prabhupada writes in fourth canto, uh, Madhirekshana, make your eyes into bumblebees and drink the beauty of nectar of Krishna. Nectar of beauty of Krishna. Like that. So you must uh, take proper darshan of the Lord and then Recollect the form of the Lord. Then the form of the Lord, if you keep it in your heart, then Prabhupada writes that our attraction to opposite sex forms get going. Any other ladies? Hmm. Demons to the demons. Promotion, no? That is a promotion, no? Standing, you know, at the gate. Instead of standing at the gate, now they joined uh, Mahaprabhu's pastimes. So in order to bless them, he brought them again. It's a blessing, na? Prabhupada said, devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are very, very fortunate. Uh, we all become two parts. You know, one, one soul, soul becomes two souls. You know, same soul, expansion. One soul goes to Golok Vrindavan, another expansion goes to Mayapur. So take part in Mahaprabhu's pastimes also. So they didn't want to miss out, so they prayed. <laughs> you know, so then that's why they came. You know, like Brahmaji, he's a liberated soul. Uh, one the Acharya comments. When when uh, cow went to offer prayers to 
you know, Krishna, then, then he got the uh, advice that, you know, all of you go and take incarnation, okay. uh, bodies. You know. So they all took birth in various places in Mathura, Dwarka, Vrindavan, everywhere. He himself did not come. And Brahmaji did not come. Everybody came. All of them, they took birth. Then when he committed offense during Brahma Mohan Lila, then in order to become free from that offense, he took birth as Haridas Thakur. So Brahmaji himself came, what to speak of Jai Vijay. So when Krishna killed Shishupal and Dantavakta, they went back to Vaikuntha. When Mahaprabhu, when Mahaprabhu appeared, again they came. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this uh, <clears throat> Sita and uh, Anjane converse. You know, I was I was giving class. No, uh, during uh, Ramkatha that time also. Then before the, after that, I think uh, I was doing uh, now. You know, Sundar Kanda Katha during. Uh, Corona. Right? Then during Corona, every day I was giving lecture. Then people are fed up and stopped coming on the online. But I was giving. Whole <laughs> 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 day I was reading and giving class. So my mind was absorbed in reading the Sundra Kanda Ramayana. So then one day actually I saw Sita and Anjanaya conversation. That Ashoka tree and all. Actually, it is true, you know. All these Leelas, they will appear in your heart. But you have to be absorbed. But every time it doesn't happen. Very heart is so contaminated. Once it happened uh, that I had this habit of giving, you know, six, seven hours of Katha. You know? One of the uh, Dvadasis, uh, after so much I was reading, you know. For almost one month, I was preparing for the class and reading pastimes and by hearting verses uh, like that. Then I was speaking continuously for six, seven hours. Next day, I was just closing my eyes and then chanting and Radha Rasmir appeared in my heart. And then I just, uh, every time you can, Radha Rasmir doesn't, even now also, Radha Rasmir doesn't come. But uh, I understood, you know, if you read first kind of fifth chapter, only when Krishna shows mercy, he will appear in. You can't by force, you can't bring him. Like Naradamuni, you know, was past. Right? Naradamuni saw Krishna once. When he wanted to bring him again, he didn't come. Then Krishna said, no, this time no, you don't get. Like that. So, Prabhupada writes Sad, uh, Nirbija Yoga and Sadbija Yoga. Nirbija Yoga means forcibly you meditate on Krishna and past time. Sad, Sadbija Yoga means Krishna appears on his own. That is causeless mercy of Krishna. <laughs> So sometimes Krishna gives jalak, you know. Yeah. yeah, it is possible. You also can experience. But for that, you have to read a lot. I read a lot. <laughs> then mananam is very important. You, know? you read a pastime and then think about that pastime. And whatever I spoke, you go and uh, again think about this past. You know? That is called mananam. Okay, I think we should stop. Huh? Thank you. Hare Krishna.